Keeping the people math ready. Well, I saw this question on Reddit. It's a geometry question from the GCSE test. So let's see if we can find the length of the band that goes around these three circles. And I'm going to switch to my iPad for this geometry question. So this is how I will go about solving this. But before I show you guys the solution, I would like to point out that we are given this right here is 2. But this right here does not mean the diameter of the circle is 1. Because if you see, okay, that's a diameter. If you say that's 1, and if you say that's also 1, and if you zoom in, then you can see that, unfortunately, there's an overlap, right? So it's not that easy. So we don't know the diameter right away, but if we can find it, great. So how do we do it? Well, let's go ahead and put down the centers for the circles. And then this right here, it's a tangent line to the circle. And if you connect the radius to the tangent line, they will be perpendicular. You make a 90 degree angle. So let's go ahead and just connect the center to the point of the tangencies like this. And let's do that to all three circles. And pop quiz for you guys. How big is this angle? Well, the answer is 120 degrees. And this is a way to see why. Because if you connect the centers of the circles, for the inside, you can see that we actually have an equilateral triangle. Why? Because from here to here, that's the radius of the circle. Let's call that to be R. And the rest will also be R as well. So the inside, we have an equilateral triangle. That means this right here will be 60 degrees. This right here will be 120 degrees. And one quick way to see that is, notice this right here is 90 degrees. And in fact, this is also 90 degrees because this is actually a rectangle and we have three of them. So this right here plus this has to be 360. That's why that red part right here is 120. Now, if you look at this portion, this is just a third of the circle. So is this. So is that. So in fact, if you put them together, we just need to have the circumference of a circle. And let me just write that down right here. Right, so this is what we need, the circumference of the circle, which we know the formula is just 2 pi r. Good. But we don't know the radius yet. All right, moreover, if we go back to the picture, earlier we discussed it that this right here will be perpendicular. So in fact, here we have a rectangle. From here to here is r. That means from here to here, is r plus r, I mean r plus r, so we will have 2r. Cool. And then let's do the same thing for the rest. This right here will be 2r as well, and this right here will be 2r as well. In fact, for the parameter of that thing, or the length of the band, you will just have to add the circles, circumference, and also the parameter of the triangle, which each side is 2R. All right, now we have to figure out what R is, right? This is how. First, let's have a look. From here to here, that is a radius, so that's R. And then if you go down from here to here, that is radius, because this is a radius. Good. Now, for the middle part, if we cut through it, then we can see that this right here, it's a 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. And we know this side is R. So that means the hypotenuse is square root of 3 times R. And now if you put everything together, we see that we have R here. And then square root of 3, R. And then lastly, we'll have one more R. So all together, they add up to be 2. So we have 2r. Let me just do the math now. We have 2r plus square root of 3r. That's equal to 2. Factor out the r. We have r times 2 plus square root of 3. That's equal to 2. Divide both sides by this. So we have r equals 2 over 2 plus square root of 3. 
And of course, you can also rationalize the denominator. It's kind of like up to you though. I'm just going to use that as my R and then figure out the answer. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to add them together. For the first length, we have to do 2 pi r. So 2 pi times 2 over 2 plus square root of 3. Next, we are going to add it with 2r plus 2r plus 2r, which is 6r. So 6 times r, which is 2 over 2 plus square root of 3. Alright, the answer for this question doesn't look so nice, but at least we have the same denominator right here. So, let's just go ahead and put this down as 2 plus square root of 3 on the bottom, and for the top right here, 2 pi times 2, we get 4 pi, and then we add 6 times 2, we get 12. So, that would be an answer for it. And if you really want to, of course, you can multiply the top and bottom by its conjugate, namely 2 minus square root of 3. And if you do this, it's actually pretty nice, because the bottom is just 2 squared minus square root of 3 squared, which is just 4 minus 3, which is just 1. So you will just end up with 4 pi plus 12 times 2 minus square root of 3. Like that. And of course, you can also multiply this out, but I think we have done enough, so this will be it.